Hi, I'm Marie. I'm Dominique. And we are Woolies the Answer. Um, again, we are on episode 14. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. You can find us at the usual places, Facebook, Instagram, Ravelry, Twitter, and YouTube. Yes. Um, well, is the answer for all of them. All of them, you will find. Um, we're just about to make a cup of tea, just to, as we normally do, and sit on our rambling. And Dominique kept wanting to make the cup of tea, but I've got a surprise for you. Ooh. I've been trying to get this sorted out for blooming weeks. Right. Oh my God. Right. I made these. <gasps> Don't get too excited. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't like. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I made these. They've got oh, a little logo. Wow, look the writing's that. not brilliant. And then on the back, <gasps> mine says Marie. Yours says Dominique. There's even a little something inside. I mean. Oh my god! Look! So, this is what I made <gasps> ages ago in September. I've been waiting to pick them up from the little pottery studio in Lincoln, but they've moved. But look at the logos! I did. That I mean, is amazing! I'm chuffed with the little logos, but the Where writing leaves a little bit to be desired. You're looking for a logo now, yeah. aren't you? But oh, who knows? Who knows where there's a logo? Have you stamped the names then? And um, oh. I'm coming back. Because that looks like it's no damn Well, what door. I did is I put little stickers on, alphabet stickers, and I, you'll notice the mistake. They didn't have any eyes. I was going to say the they eyes are a one. Yeah, but that's, I mean. And the E's and upside down three. three. <laughs> so they, did, they ran out of letters. Can you see? So, and oh. then I sponged over it. But that's our logo, as you'll remember. The I little look. three sheep. I mean, come on. That is colour. So, did you have a logo with you to know which way they were all facing? Well, I had it on before. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is... Are you impressed? That is amazing. And then I thought, <gasps> I've done the front, and I thought, oh, I need to on the back. And I'll do a big sheep. I mean... Is that sponge, then? That's sponged. So now we can have a cup of tea. <laughs> I'll oh. leave you with Dominique for one moment while I just go... Well, no, let me make the cup of tea. You say where these were done. Right. So I made those at um, the Little Pottery Shop. Um, it was based up at the Lawns in Lincoln. It's now moved down to um, St Mark's near the Toby Carvery. Um, so I've been waiting for ages to pick them up because they've moved locations. Um, so I've been waiting. I thought I'd have them on the last two podcasts, but I didn't. But I was like a small child because Dominique dropped me down there yesterday to go and pick them up because me and my daughter went and did it and we did a Potter's Wheel experience, which was really good. But... Um, so I had to sit in the car and I just wanted to show them I'm rubbish at keeping, I can keep secrets, honestly I can. <laughs> However, when I'm giving gifts to people and I know it's something they're like, I'm, I can't, I just can't contain myself sometimes, I just want to tell them what it is. So um, yeah, I'm really chuffed with them. They so they are, are going to be our fab. official, they can oh, be our... I can have one with my name on. Oh crap, I put the... Oh, sorry for my language. I've put the sugar in mine. I'll drink out yours then, and you can drink out of mine. I'll oh. put the tea bag in there. Um, that was poor. I was rushing can, to come back. Nobody can see on the back. So no. There. That's an early <gasps> birthday present. That is. Because it's somebody's birthday this week. She's like a little excited I child. I am like a little child. Because you've just Let's finished work, haven't you, today? Just finished work. Got some time off. I've had to... I've had to go in unexpectedly, but it's all sorted, so now I can... We were going to do this about two hours ago. Yeah. I've delayed going away, and I'm so pleased I did, because... You've got your mug. Look. That is amazing. So these can be our official um, the, um, YouTube mugs. I'm sorry I'm a Bridgewater, but you've been... You've been usurped. I'm you afraid. have been usurped for... So, I mean, look, there's a little <gasps> detail on the top. I've done the handles. I mean, I really thought about this. So they were just this colour You just got plain. You just got a white... You just got a white mug, and then you just painted it to your heart's content. <gasps> I mean, I, the, the writing on the front is a bit dodgy. I'll well, give you that. Because... Yeah. It's handmade. It's handmade. It's handmade, It's people. handmade. It's the thought that counts and all that lot. They are. So, fun. I thought I'd done quite well to hide them from you. Because I was, I wanted yesterday, I just got, oh, 
you want to just It's a good on. job that we're wrapped up then. It was, because I would have just shown you. And then gone, can you pretend that you've never seen yeah. one before? No. So there you go. It makes a change for me to be surprising you. Oh, that um, is good. So, well, we've, we've got quite a bit to talk about because we were on yes. a retreat. Yep, yeah, done another retreat. Yeah. Um, that was... That, it was only a week and a bit ago. Yeah, it feels like ages so ago. So we're re recording this on a Monday. Yes. Monday the 18th. Oh, look at you. I know. And we normally always do it on Thursday, so it won't go out till Thursday, because otherwise you'll have a short gap this time and a really long gap yeah. next time. Or else you would have just had to listen to me rambling on, and that wouldn't have been any good after last week's. But after um, the last... Uh, yeah, after you non-drunk drunk. I wasn't episode. drunk. I would just like to point out to everybody, I was not drunk on the last one. You definitely were not drunk. I was just, just very tired. Over tired. <laughs> I came across like I was a little bit tiddly, which was quite amusing when I was listening back to it. I thought, what on earth? So I'm a little bit more awake today. We did it on the Thursday before we went to we did. We the shattered. retreat. Well, I was So I it. did the... Um, I do all the links. Marie does the uploading and I do all the links. So I was doing that Friday night when we were at the retreat. Oh, my God, I was sat wetting myself <laughs> listening back to just, I mean. I don't know what was wrong with We me. do always talk rubbish, but last episode was just. Me in particular. Just, yeah. So well, we're, we're. We're a bit more wide awake today. Yeah, we're back, more back to normal. Maybe we so. should do the one and wouldn't be impossible on Thursday. Maybe that would be the way forward. So we were at um, Lucy Locketland's. Um, Affordable budget retreats. Affordable luxury retreats. No, budget luxury retreat. Sorry, Lucy, we get there. Yeah. Um, and it was at um, Dunstan, just outside of Craster on the North and Blue Coast. Yes. And it was a beautiful location. Yeah. Really nice. Dunstan Hall. Yeah. It was a... It's an old oh. building. Let's call I read it that. Yeah. An old The building. fireplace was from the 1400s. That's how old it, how old it was. So... But we were in a little cottage next door. Yes, um, which was lovely. It was really nice. Um, just, again, met some really, really nice, really nice people. people. We had a giggle. We just sat really and did lots of knitting, talking, yeah. um, eating. Went for a couple of walks in, which you'll have probably seen photos on our yeah. social media. I mean, Saturday, other than I nipped out in the car for half an hour, um, we just didn't do anything, no. did we? It just was really, really nice. Sat and giggled. Just um, just looking at everyone's projects, inspiration. Um, Linda, who is one of our test knitters, was yes. there with Anne, who we've met a few times. Hello. Hello, Linda, Linda and Anne. Um, it was really nice it to was. spend time catching up with them because normally yeah. we see them at shows or things. You don't get time to chat. No. Do you? So it was really nice. Um, um, and then we met um, Kath and Marion. Kath and Marion. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. From Wensleydale, Long. Wool Sheep Shop, the longest named. Yes, they've just won a prize, haven't yes, they? they've just won a prize at their last show of the longest named shop. Yes. Um, Wensley Dale, Long Wool yeah. Sheep Shop. Yeah. There you go. Um, so they were lovely. So You've got some of the... Um, I have that, I'm going to show yeah, you. Yeah, you've got I'm, some bits to yeah. show from that. Um, Marion was working on a, a, oh, a fox. Yes. It was beautiful. I mean, the patience... Anyone that knits toys, you enjoy knitting, they're not for yeah. me. Um, but it was beautiful. Yeah, it it was. was. I think Marion did think at one point I was going to steal him because uh, we were sat in the dining room and I just happened to look to my side and he was finished, sat on top of her knitting case. Marion wasn't here at this stage. No. So I went and picked him up and I was like, oh, look at this. And I wanted to take a picture of him somewhere. She wanted so to steal him. I didn't want to steal him. I just wanted to take a picture of him like, in a chair or something, and I just got him in my hand as Marion walked in the room. Honestly, I was not trying to steal him. I wanted to take a photo of him. Um, but we had a really nice time laughing. Yeah, we yeah. did. And you, you knit some... Well, I've got that to we'll show. Talk, we'll talk about I've got that in a little while. It was quite yes. funny. And um, I kept everyone entertained. You did keep everyone entertained. And um, Kath hadn't taken any wool. So she bought some from Lucy. That was beautiful. Yeah, it was really nice. It was yak, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Not <coughs> yak as in horrible, but yak was. as in animal. Yes. And um, she was knitting a pair of socks, or as you called them, just a pair of socks. They're just socks. I mean, you couldn't have insulted anybody oh, anymore, no. could you? I really didn't mean... Because Linda was doing a... Um, Cable hat. No, a uh, colour work hat. Oh, yes, that's right, yes. Lots of different colours, and she just... Was like speedy knitter, and then and Kath had just 
knit a sock. That's what Dominique said to her. I did, it's and I really just, didn't mean that. It's, so for all over the weekend, they were known as just socks. And in fact, did you see that she'd put... put she's finished her just socks, which is more than we can say for what you're doing. Exactly. you haven't finished it. I really haven't. But... I didn't mean they were beautiful they were socks. Yeah, very quick, very quick knitter. I was, what I was trying to do was just show how Linda's expertise was amazing. Because Linda wasn't knitting just a sock, was she? But I hate knitting socks. So anyone that knits socks, fair play to you. I I'm just kept digging cat, myself in this cat, hole. I am so sorry that she upset you because you know sometimes she didn't she's got big to. feet. She jumps in and. And once I start digging... She just can't help herself. So I apologise sincerely on behalf of oh. both of us. She has been suitably chastised and she's lucky that she's going away. Let's just yes. say that. And as a naughtiness, I have removed one of the Christmas presents <laughs> from her list and they will be sent back to Father Christmas. Oh, okay. Right, now we've got that. So, open, we? yeah. But it was just a lovely weekend. It was. It was really good. Met up with... My parents were up there, your dad was up there, had yeah. a walk and lunch with them. So, never got any crusty kippers though. Your dad did. Oh, yeah, he said he was going to share them. Oh, no, that was with Flo, not no. you. Yeah, he yeah. didn't share them with me. No, he didn't, did he? Yeah, yeah. I'll have to go again. Yeah. I'll have to go yeah. again and get some crusty kippers. Um, but yeah, we were, we were lucky because the weather wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't. Um, so, we had a good time. Yeah, yeah. Really, really Definitely. nice. Really nice um, retreat. So, yeah, we met some, okay, I'm trying to remember some of the other names. Um, Lynn. Yeah. Leslie, Leslie, Anne, hello, hello, Anne, yeah, we're rubbish at names, I Natasha, Natasha, I'm trying to go around the table now, Sheila, Sheila, that's right, um, lots of people, oh yeah, lots of people, lots of people, so if we've forgotten anybody, we will sorry. have forgotten some people, um, it, it, it was lovely. a lovely time, yeah, um, so, so talk, what, talking of what I, what I, were you knitting, what was I knitting at the time, what was I knitting at the time, this, I cast it on while yeah. I was there, didn't I, but I was, you did. Uh, so I cast on, while I was there, a jumper. So I'm doing another tin can knits out of the um, Strange Brew book. Yes. So it's the top down jumper. So um, that is... No, that's not what I, I... I knew I wasn't doing this. I cast this on on the second day. I'll have to go and get it, honestly. So this is what I've been knitting. So that is in double knit because I've normally done my tin can knits yeah. in four ply. It, it feels it. And I know again, it's, it's our wool, but it feels reef. so nice knitted up. I mean, look at the colours in that, and then the um, magenta. Magenta in that. So that's what I cast on on the Saturday, I think. But what I was knitting. Hang on a minute. I'll be back. What were you knitting? What was I? Knitting? I can't remember. It was only a week and a half ago. Well, well. While Marie's gone, oh, so what I was knitting, I was working on, stand by, <laughs> I was working on my um, Worsted Boxy, oh, I've just, yeah, Worsted Boxy by Hopi, but she's back, let's just see. What I'm back. So I was knitting of course you the were. 12 Days of Christmas in Coral Reef, Silver and Navy. In so four ply. In four ply. And it's... It well, let's huge. have a comparison. It's ha um, well, it's different because it's the magic yarn, isn't it? That just well, it is the magic different. yarn, but that is so. I mean, you can imagine I can put my jumper on, but look how big this shawl is. I mean, it is huge because it, it well, is. Let's start here. I think I ended up with 300 and something stitches on. So, this is the end. Da -da -da. Look at the way the roof changes colour. Do, 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 And that, so, I... And then that's coral reef knitted. Yeah. Just coral well, reef. I need, to, I need to try this on. So no, you'll lose your stitches. No. Oh, I you will. Lots of things. So, anyway, it wouldn't be a um, podcast, would it, without Marie trying something on? I mean, come on, people. So... There we go. Oh, it's just going. I'm just about over the um. You just about the booby area. There we go. So that does look really that. That looks really really nice. So it's going to be a long sleeved one. Um, I haven't put the short rows in because I don't like the short rows in. I like it where the necks. So I've got necks a long low. Yeah, I've yeah. got a long neck. So it's just yeah, yeah. 
So I quite like that. So I'll just be all coral reefed up, won't I? There you go. So there you go. Oh, I'll that's just be it. a bit coral reefed up. I mean, who needs oh, a, I've not even bought it. Who needs a full jumper when you can just sit in half a knit jumper? I mean, look, perfect. But this boxy jumper. I've not, it's in the car. I thought I'd brought it in, but I haven't. Well, um, Dominique and I could have both fit in it. It was only when she, you like, held it up at one point. I mean, it is just in the round, bottom up stocking stitch. So I, I did keep looking and thinking it's quite big. But it's anyway, then I'd got like that much done. Huge. Like a day's knitting. It was like this wide. Well, it like was, this wide. It, it is, the boxy does have. Lots of inches, positive ease. It, that was more than positive ease. That was positive tendage. You could have lived in it. I mean, it was and massive. It was, it, I've done it in linen drape as well. It was so heavy. So on the Saturday night, I've tried to spend all day, all day. I videoed it. It oh. was hilarious. I could not stop. I, they made honestly, me measure it and measure me, and it was 10 inches too big. 18 inches too big. No, 10. No, you were going to take it in nearly 10 inches on each side. No, I wasn't. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. No, it might have been. I think it was 16 eight, inches. Six, it was 16 eight, it was 8 on either yes. side. 16 inches too big. I mean, that's like... It but was, for someone that doesn't knit that quickly, I was just distraught. So I was like, well, I'll, I'll just like keep going and I'll seam it and just chop some out or... I'll split it and then, I'm not joking, this went I'll on for about half an hour. And I'll put some ribbon on it. <laughs> I mean, I'll gather it. We were howling. I'll oh, turn it into a skirt. I just didn't want to rip it out. I just didn't have the heart to rip it out. We but anyway. Not, hang on, I'll be back in a second. I got outvoted, we quite rightly. Not, we could not stop laughing because the excuses that were coming out about what you were going to do. there's a solution to this. Yeah, pull it out. Yeah, there is. Pull it out. So, while whilst Dominique was doing that, I Marion had on this beautiful oh, ca yes. cardigan jacket in bright pink, where, as we all know, I'm a little bit partial to a little bit of pink. Um, so, I asked what the pattern was, and it is one of, um, when's it in a long wool sheep shop? Pattern. Pattern. It was beautiful. Beautiful. And it's called the Beryl Jacket. There's my, there's the washing, washing machine. machine going there. Um, so this is the pattern, um, and you can see here it's it's quite short at the front, but um, Marion had done it so it was a little bit longer. It's got a cowl neck, um, not a cowl neck, like a, a collar, collar neck, yeah. And it was really, really oh. nice. So I thought, hmm. you can't necessarily see from that pattern, it's moss stitch. It's moss stitch all the way. So the texture, it was beautiful. And this is the colour that Marion's was in. So this is the wool and it's Aran and it is so, so soft. 100% wool, so soft. Um, it's really, really nice I mean, it wool. Is, so it is 100% pure new wool and there's 160 metres, 174 yards in 100 grams. So of course, um, Kath didn't have the wool with her. So I'm on her website ordering the pattern and ordering the wool and at the Just same time whilst I was looking through the patterns beautiful. there was a pattern popped up for a poncho so being the good friend I am I this poncho I purchased the pattern for my friend to make it's called out the, of her wool called in, the Wensley Dale poncho in, DK. instead of the comedy jumper that she was knitting so she's now so, knitting with it I mean even this this has got a moss stitch border, so I've not done much, but this I've bit is moss stitch, and then there's just one band of moss stitch. I've got pink wool in my tea. And a bit of cable in. But I couldn't even do moss stitch. No, I mean, I just lost it. I think they all thought I was an absolute lunatic. I did have to show them. And this was before the whiskey? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really drink that much. I've got to say, that's smaller than what your jumper was. Wouldn't you agree, ladies? That is smaller than what the jumper was. Then there's was. just a bit of cabling. Cable. It's really pretty. And I've got all my little pretty stitch markers. So, do you put that cabling up there? And I'll put the picture behind because you can't really see. Is that better? I can't see. Yeah, there's only That's two. Better, I've yeah. only done two repeats. Um, but this wool, it is. It's what I was using for it. It's Starcraft linen drape. 
nice colour that I it? got from Sarah at number four. I really like the colour, but I do like the way, guess what? It drapes. It's got a bit of drape to it. I mean, you wouldn't like this because look how you can see all. No, no. But I, I like it. So, I've really not had time to do much at all. So, I cast it on and I've done two repeats. So, then Linda keeps asking and everyone keeps asking, have I pulled it down yet? Yeah, she no, no, it's coming on holiday with me. She and I'll pull it to down. Think that she can resurrect it. I mean, no, I don't. People. But I've just, it's going to take me half an hour to rip it out because I'm knitting two at a time. Two oh, God, strands oh, that together. That was a comedy thing, wasn't it? You were using so, one wool. So it is going to take, so I've got extra ball. So I thought I'll just cast it on with a spare ball and that's going to be like a nighttime project for me. So this, I'm, so when I came home on, we came home on the Monday and then Tuesday, I think it was a Wednesday, my wool arrived. Yes. So I've started knitting. So that's the most. I mean, stitch. that really doesn't do the colour justice. No, it doesn't. Because it is so a beautiful. It's got a sheen to it. Yeah, it um, really is. Let me see if I can do that. That's a bit better. You can sort of see the pattern. So um, I think it'll look perfect with my jumper, actually. I can wear my jumper underneath. It, it is. I mean, I. I'll just display. I thought it was stunning, but moss stitch just. And I've been practicing my continental uh, continental knitting and Norwegian pearl. The Anakin tosses. Yes. But I can still knit and pearl as I normally do faster. But I, every couple of rows, I'm just just having just a keep practice. practice. Yeah, yeah. But so that yeah, that's the only thing that put me off. I, I think it looks beautiful, but I'm not sure. I did because say, Marion had added a bit of length as well, yes. and I just thought, oh, it'd take me about four years. I did say I was going to leave it till Christmas. Yeah, I didn't. I've started it. Might take me till, till after Christmas to finish it. I've got so many things yeah, on. We both have. So I was pleased that I managed to cast um, off my shawl, and that pack is now available online if you want to buy it in the combination. Um, I put that on online so you can buy that. I think there's three or four packs available. Possibly. There's definitely two. I think there's we three. We sold one the other day. Yeah. I yeah. Think well, it's not a problem because I think we've got plenty of silver, we've got millions of coral reef. And we can dye some more navy if yeah. we run out. So yeah. Um, yeah, it is the navy that because as soon as you put it on, someone bought it. Yes, they did. And I, I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I've got a feeling that was a present from husband to wife. It was. Yeah, it was. Yes. So that's someone's Christmas yeah. present. So one of you out there could be lucky. And um, while we're still wishing on about the retreat, oh yeah, this is the bag that we got from Lucy. Um, and I might have made a little purchase while I was there as well. I saw these yeah, socks when I was at Woolness. Um, and Lucy does the kit for them. She does lots of little kits, doesn't she? Yeah. And it's called the Magic Toadstool Socks. Why is it called that? Because they're magic toadstools. It's got toadstools on them. And it's by Stone Knits, Christine Stone. Um, so there's a the picture of them. And this is the yarn that... Lucy's. Um, so it's Magic Todd Steel Sock Set. And it's um, Superwash Merino and Nylon. So you get two little red micro skins, one cream one, and then this green, which has got lots of different tones in it. So I shall be making myself some socks with that. Um, yeah. Oh. It's, I was just looking to see, and it says overall you need 390 metres. 320 of the main colour and then a 50 metre and two 10 metres of the three contrast colours. There's loads in there. I'm just thinking it, other, anyone, if you're using scrappy bits, yeah. it's it's almost a full ball of your main yarn and then it really is scraps. Yeah, little bits of your, little bits of your other. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to knitting that. So that's all my retreat stuff. Um, <sighs> what about you? Look what I have got to show you. It's not only it's cast off. You cast it off. I have cast it off. I just can't get to. I can't. Not only have I cast it off. Does it fit? It fits. Yay! I can't get to grips with these short jumpers. They look so nice on people. Well, I've cast it off, and it because I thought it was going to be for a midget, but I put it on this morning, and it fits. Brilliant! But because I didn't think it was going to fit, I cast it off. Shorter than I thought. Now I know it fits. I might take the um, rib off yeah. and make it longer. Rib off. Yeah, you could do. If I can be bothered. I oh. really do like it. I really do. I just didn't think. I got a hope in hell of 
um, fit in, and it does. But it just covers my boobs. Just. So it needs about another eight inches. It's nice, though. But I do really like it. I really like that part here where you've done it. Yes. Because it looks like a shadow, doesn't it? I don't it? understand why that rib won't stay down. It keeps wanting to flip Well, because it hasn't been blocked. Yeah, it's, yeah, but normally it should just... And because it's a very short rib, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it just needs to be longer. Well, also, when I read the pattern for the rib and it said do six rows, I realised I was reading the rib for the sleeve and not for the bottom and it should have been eight. So... So anyway, it is finished. Look, I put. I said I was always gonna... read the pattern. I did. I just didn't read it properly. Or Iris would say to us, "You haven't read the pattern, have you?" Yes, of course I've read. Yes, the of course pattern. I've read. Oh, it was only when I came to do the sleeves and thought, mm. "Ah, that's where I went wrong." But look, that's where that's how much I've done in the last week and a bit. Brilliant. When I spent all retreat wasting my time on a boxy, so. <laughs> I'm in two minds now to take the ribbon off and carry on. Will you wear it? I might do. Well, then take the ribbon off and, and get on with it. Or whether to do it as a giveaway for someone that's shorter than me, that it would... Someone shorter than me with less boobs, it would be like a proper crop top. It just... But just you're taking cover. all that time. It's up to you. What do you want to do with it, Dominique? Well, I've got too many other... Th I don't know what I'm going to do. So at the minute, I've made a beautiful garment that is just going to sit somewhere on the floor. Um, <laughs> I just... I've got too many other things on the go. I will come back to that. Yeah. I really do like it. But it needs to be eight inches longer and the sleeves need to be I'm just going a to take longer. off another, another show because we can both try one of these on. Yes. Um, we can now show you um, a pattern. When we were at um, Walmonty ages ago in June, yes. we met a really nice lady that we've mentioned before, Cumbie, and She's handmade by Cumbie, Cumbie on and Instagram. We, we got chatting while we were at Walmonty. Lovely lady. She was there with her husband and her two children. Lovely children. She's a crocheter. And... Um, Oh, and a knitter. And a knitter. And she's a pattern designer. She's a pattern designer. That's what she is. And she was there and she had lots of patterns. And we'd been looking for somebody because we need some crochet patterns. We've talked about this before. And we got chatting to her at the yeah. time. And um, we'd said, would you be interested in um, doing something for us? So we've had to keep it fairly quiet because it, it's taken us quite a long time to sort out. So we've been talking to her quite a lot and chatting. Um, and we and everyone keeps it. saying to us at the shows, yeah, have you not got any crochet? No. We are in the process. Well, um, we can both crochet, but we haven't got time along with everything else. So yes. we, we will do some, but it's, we wanted something to, to get going. So um, we finally got the um, shawl. It's called Call Me Rosie. And we will have it online by the end of this week. So by the time you're watching this podcast, Thursday, Friday, It'll it be should online. be online. Um, and it's in double knit as well. So it's a beautiful, this is the one that Cumbie did with the two colours we sent her. So she sent us a picture of like a beautiful sunset yeah, and for so the inspiration for the right. yarn. So we dyed it to match. So that is the beautiful, that's... beautiful shawl. It really is nice. Um, so... We love it. Thank you so much, Cumbie. It, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, and we also had it testing it, so Dominic's going to try the other one. So this one I'm wearing is in Purple Rain um, with Paradise Sunset. And the one that we this had is as a test. Peacock. And the Purple Rain again. The purple rain. I don't know why we did that. I don't either. I'm not sure you can... Look, it's got it's this beautiful. beautiful edging yeah. all the way around on both top and bottom. And this one is done, whereas... The original was done with the multi. It's done the opposite with. way around. Done the, and it looks beautiful both yeah. ways. So we'll, we'll be taking these to the shows, so you'll be able to look at them next I'm year. I'm not going to try this on because I can see what's coming next. You can see what's coming next. But it's beautiful. Really, So Cumbia is beautiful. Yeah, really nice. So um, um, the pattern will definitely be up, up and it takes two... Um, 100. 100 grams of yarn. So you could do it in one colour if you wanted. Yeah. Um, it's done in double knit. Um, or you could use one contrasting colour. Oh, as we've done. I mean, like most things, if you've got loads of double knit left yeah. over, 
you can do it in how you want. Yeah. So we're really happy. Um, so this is the start of our crochet patterns. patterns. But it was Sarah from number four that tested it this, who is a prolific crocheter. Yes. You know, she teaches crochet, and she said it's one of the nicest crochet patterns she's yeah. ever followed, yeah, she which really was really was nice to hear. Yeah. Um, so, Cumbie, she was absolutely bowled was, over yeah. by it. She was delighted. Um, so, that is... Um, that's our new So, shop. that's crochet pattern. And at the same time... Number one. Um, I can't remember where we met. Yarndale. Wendy. Yarndale, that's right. Oh, that's right, because it was Mum's birthday, yes. wasn't it? Hello, birthday. Wendy. Hello, Sue. Hello, Sue. And they were all in matching leggings that we showed... You had on last yes. week. Yes. Still haven't purchased any. Because um, she had got a badge on. So Wendy then said she would like to start designing some patterns because she crochets quite a bit. Yes. So we said to her, crack on. And she, and has. she did. Um, she hasn't been very well, so I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> yes. So she's got this to us. We still need this pattern. Um, just checking and testing. Um, testing. Um, or test crochet. Test crochet. And then once we've done that, we will let you know when it's available. But also, because we've just launched the double knit, again, it's in double knit. Yeah. Because... And minis. We've used minis yeah, on this one. Yeah, we have. Because um, we wanted to... But this is clever. Oh, because is... that looks like knitting, doesn't it? I mean, it's it, not. Is, it is. It's crochet. crochet. But it's really clever. I'll let Dominique demonstrate it. I it's just, a really pretty cowl, and we really. I it just. It looks very. It, it you know it looks very simple and plain, but it looks really nice when you. Put I think it, on. it looks really modern and it's really nice, funky. So you can wear it long, or you can wear it double. It looks really nice. I mean, just yeah. Look. At, so that that pattern, is a triumph, Wendy. Yeah. So that pattern will be available. Um, I would say in the next couple of weeks, once it's been tested and once we've got. Um, it is just. It's really nice. I mean, you could a little head like mine. You could probably put it up over your ears. We're having this conversation today. My ears get cold. You wouldn't think so. They're so blooming tiny. I mean. <laughs> do look like a Scottish widow. Yeah, but you could. You could. My little head would. But it, it's. So, thank you very much. And, Wendy, you really shouldn't have. Can I just, before you go on oh. and tell Wendy off, uh, that's 100, the greys, 100 yes. grams of the grey, and then four minis. Yeah, and she's literally used uh, nearly all of the minis. Yeah. So, perfect. But just to try and keep the cost down as well, because when we put the pack together, yeah, like, it'll be, be show off, but it'll be £10 for the four minis. Yeah. It'll be £24.50. Yeah, that's right. So, we'll put and it together. And because it's one of our patterns... Are we going to let them have the pattern for free? Maybe at the shows we'll have a thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that is beautiful. But Wendy also sent so us. So when did it come? This, today. I've just came home today and it was there waiting for me, this little package. Wendy, you really didn't have to. I mean, thank you so much. So we've got a little candy can cane in its little I mean, crocheted case. And then, but look at the crocheted case. I know. Clever. I mean, if only I knew how to do them, you'd get everyone would get them for Christmas presents. She obviously knows that I'm a child and like sweeties. And then we also got a little skeleton. <gasps> I mean, I mean, it's that's a sheep. Fab. Look, I wonder if they're the pack. That's similar to the pattern that that they had one year at. Um, I'm a shepherd. Oh my lord! At Wayne uh, Quill. Yes. It looks very... It does look very... Oh, but I mean, thank you so oh, much. We love it. Thank it's you. It's even... I mean, you can see it's like fluffy it's got, wool as well. It's like proper. It's just... It, thank you so much. It really did bring a smile. Wendy, face, it see. is. Thank you. And you can see Dominique's really happy there. It's like sweet. It's going to go on holiday with me. Oh, dear. That might not uh, make it on holiday. That will definitely make it on holiday. Or should I keep it for Christmas? Well, I'm keeping mine for Christmas. I'm not. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I'm going to eat it and then refill it. And let's see how many times... refill it. How many are you going to buy? Say, let's see how many times I can I'm refill I'm going to go that. six times before Christmas. Easily, I would think. <laughs> oh, I've got to give you these as well. Just... I can't Andy, show you what I'm doing. Thank you. You're a very, very clever lady. I can't show you what I'm doing with these until the 1st of December. There's a clue there. I'm sorry, this have, is like my favourite thing It ever. might have something to do with an advent calendar. 
So they're because yours. I ordered them and I got a hundred. So they're little pegs. The little pegs with wooden hearts. Let's on. just say I'm knitting something with my advent calendar that goes on little pegs. Well, because why not? And you're not going to give any more of a hint than that because people have got to wait and exactly. see. I'm not giving any hint, although I'll stop I'm hoping we posted them all out. I wonder if anybody's had a peek. Well, somebody's had a peek. I, be I bet there is. Two or three people have commented saying that they can't wait till the 1st of December. They're hung up already. Yeah, yeah we've had lots of pictures of them all hung up. Because um, um, Rosie, yes. Rosie showed us her picture of it hung up. Yes. Um, we've had a couple of pictures we have all, all ready to go. Some people have put them in baskets already. Yeah. Yeah, so it's nice to see. Um, so. But no one had said that Pete, because as much as I like seeing things, I do like, surprise, you know, I do advent calendars. Yeah. And if, it's not fair. So if I'm, that was an advent calendar chocolate, I would not touch it. I wouldn't. Not for, not when it's not in an advent, because that's the law. But Sounds when awful. you just get it like yes. that, I'm going to go. So that's perfect. Well, I could try. Let me. I've got more. Oh, I've got more. Not this thing. Obviously. It's like a. It's like a show and tell. Tell show and tell today. Do you all remember me raving about my bag from Rick Rat Room? Rick Rat Room. Rick, Rick Rat, Rat Room. Room. Yes, I, love I it. remember. Well, Rick Rat Room. Oh, oh I shouldn't story. have done that. The sun's coming through at a very strange angle. Look. Hello. I know, but I've just realised I have to just keep changing my position. We have been talking today. We need some better lighting in 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 here to do our podcasts. So I shall... Have you been buying? Smell that. Ooh, lavender. I think it smells lemony. Lemony? Lemony. Oh, yeah, maybe it does actually. It smells lemony, not lavender-y. Rick back room. Rick back room. I might have treated myself. Oh, what have you bought? Is that Bella's in here? Oh. Oh, I've just... Look. Oh, I didn't know which one I wanted. Oh, Dominic, that's I gorgeous. Mean, just oh. look at that. That is beautiful. I'm not even... I've, this is... Oh, that's what it is. It is lavender. Oh, it is lavender. <gasps> oh. Look, a little. So I'll you tie get, your lavender back on. You yeah. get a little stitch marker. Made oh, in Nottingham. Rick Rat Rooms is in Nottingham, and that's not a million miles. Oh, it's it's about, a little tea bag stitch marker. It is about forty miles away from. But oh, that honestly, is I saw, that is really pretty. I like that. I love that project bag. Really nice. And when I was going on about it, I suddenly thought. Why don't I go back on and have a look? That is so, really nice. And it's a bit of a Christmas theme. Oh, look. Oh, it's got a pocket in with the... Oh, it's got a pocket. It's got a pocket. It's got a pocket. I mean, it's a oh, big like bottomed bag. So that was the Christmas themed one. You've gone bonkers. And this is... Oh, it's got like, bells on. That's also Christmassy, oh. but not as... Oh, that's very nice. That's got a Christmas bell. So in that's it. got a lobster claw, a stitch marker that's a bell. I mean, I love that. I love just that. you have gone bonkers. I couldn't decide, so you bought both. But honestly, I cannot that... recommend. Oh look! Oh, it's got a little chair. Oh look, they match the little houses. Oh, what a really nice trip. That is a really... And there was that something is, just dropped on the floor as well. That might have just been a card, but it might be something else. They're really nice. Who'd have thought Rick Rat Rooms was in there? <gasps> What's that? Have you got a little book? It's a little notebook. Oh. Oh. That is... What a really nice gift. Thank you for the, your purchases. I hope you enjoyed your products regard Melly. That oh, is beautiful. Nice. It's nice to see Christmas things as well that oh. aren't in your face Christmas. Yes. I mean, I love Well, I love Christmas, Christmas, but I thought they can be used. It came in beautiful year. spotty. Any any part of the year you can use those. And this, Perfect. I, I spoke about it last time, but there's my It's Two People Eat Outside badge that I'm going to wear all, all the time. I should have had it on. going to wear it all the time. I am going to wear 
it's just two people here outside, which is why I'm going on a and week's hibern sometimes. on a week's hibernation holiday. Takes herself off all on the run. I do, just because it is two people. Two outside. people outside. Um, but they came the other day. Perfect. Um, they'd gone missing for a little while, but and I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll bring and open them to savour the excitement. Um, Ooh, so I've got three. projects that can go in them. But yeah. But she's on Etsy, and I didn't realise, I don't think she was from Nottingham. No. It's nice that it's no. so local as yeah. well. Lovely. Um, and they really weren't that expensive. So, Perfect. yes, I love them. So, anything else on your needles? Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! What else is on your needles? Oh, yes! So, I've shown that before that I said I wanted to do it. The three colour cashmere shawl, not the cowl, by Hohe Locatelli. When I cast my jumper off last night, I thought, I mean, oh, that is all I've done. Nice. Whoops. But I've just cast that on. What yarn are you using, dummy? So. Are you actually using our yarn? That's why I've cast it on, because I never do. I've got to be honest, going back to four ply, it does my head in, but. Can I just ask a question? Taking those off the stuff list. I, yeah, I took them. I took them before we went hey. away, didn't I? Did you? I took them when we went to Craster. You told me I could. No, it's not that I didn't say you could. I just was Unless, panicking that no. the, the numbers might be wrong. What would we do if the numbers are all wrong? So people? that is the silver and the petrol. Can I just say it's gone very dark? Can you still see us? It's fine. And I just wanted to get two rows. That's nice. I like those colours. And then like. I'm going to do. Oh, yes, it's coming back to me now. It's coming oh, back to you now, it's isn't it? coming back to me now. Oh, look at that loveliness. See, I'm happy now. So it's the it. magenta is going to be the green. <gasps> so the grey and the, um, the silver. In fact, yes. The silver and the magenta. No, the silver and the petrol are going to be striped. And then nice. magenta. So I cast it on last night. Well, I've only done about. 20? 25 rows. Look how many stitches I've got on. Oh, I'm going to go. You're gonna, you, oh, then I've read forward in the pattern. Oh, how many stitches do you have to go to? Dominique doesn't like doing her shawls that way. I like doing them that way. Oh, that's bad. I can tell. So I need the, to move this way because you like getting lost in the, at in the, the light. At the end of... I've, so I've done... <gasps> I can just see what the number is at the bottom there. Oh, dear, she's moving. I've done 32 rows. She's going to be moaning about this for weeks and weeks. And I've got 100 and... No, I've got 70 stitches after 30 rows. 400. Four! That's 183. Not the end. That's not the end. Well, it is just about... Because then it's just the border of... Nearly 500 stitches, people. 500 stitches. So... I'm going to put that, that number of the chocolate oranges up to 10. I am showing you this. I'm showing you the yarn. It's not going to happen. Is it going to be like my cardigan jumper that I've still got on the go? Because you, you're increasing by four stitches every row. No, what, eight? Yeah, four stitches every row. And you're the tech editor in training, not me. And I'm not joking. It's like, are you having a laugh? So it looks beautiful. It looks stunning. 483 stitches. You'd have rather have cast on 483 stitches, wouldn't you? Well, if oh, it I said cast be. on 483, I'd say thank you very much. On to the next thing. Oh, I don't have much patience. So, I mean, well, I don't know so what to might do. Get it finished, but I love those colours. I mean, it's beautiful. It is stunning. 483. Well, I'm, I'm. It increases so quickly. I'm in the process. Well. In the process, it's in my head at the minute of, of doing a um, shawl, 483. which isn't going to have 483 stitches on in double knit with a cable pattern on. That's what I'm in my head. Well, because I want something to go with my brown coat. I'm still not convinced on the green. Okay. Well, I think. I, do you know what? I think I would like it in. I can't go with 483. What would you like it in? Yak. Not yak. Ugh. Yeah. Yak as in animal yak. In the double knit yak. Well, the thing is, we're not going to stock that, are we? In double knit. Can we not? No. 
No, we're definitely not. So I don't know whether to do that to doy to doy to doy a new colour. A new colour. Brown. Like like this is gonna be very contentious. Could not just find dark. you could just find someone else's wall that's got that colour in. I don't want to do the yellow wall. I want it like the base that the yak is. That's what colour I want my wool. Because I don't want it too dark brown. But I don't want it brown. Or do I want it clean? No. My coat is dark. Let me get my coat. It is people, too dark. People, help me decide what colour would go. And bear in mind, I do not. Mustard. Well, why don't you bring the shawl that you were wearing yesterday? No! Because no. she was wearing a coat yesterday no. and a shawl with it, which is no. the perfect colour. No. She doesn't like it. So, we are hoping, we re we, we've got a sample of the yak at Yardan and it is beautiful. But we can't, we can't afford to have it in four ply and in double knit. Putting lights on. Um, <laughs> that's better. Um, right. But Marie's determined it's going to be in double knit. We don't have many double knit shorts. No, and I'm doing it in cable, front and back. I'm trying to move the court out of the way. Get my chair out of the way. Let me move my chair out of the way. As you can tell, it's very professional in this operation. Right, so I'm back. I'm stood up now. <laughs> That's why I'm taller than Dominique to do. Right. So, this is my coat, which my daughter chose for me, and it is so warm. Um, it is purchased from... Where is it purchased from? Is it not Debenhams? Debenhams? Warehouse. Warehouse at Debenhams. And it is so warm and snuggly. But it is really dark. But it is dark brown, like bear brown. And I want a shawl to go with it. Now, my blue one doesn't look bad, but no. The silver doesn't look right either. The silver doesn't look right. So I need a colour to go with it. Bearing in mind my colour palette, I like, I'll put it this way. That's the colour you need to go with it. Do you think? Yeah, I do. Berry? No, I'm um, magenta. Do get, you think? Get your moss stitch. Because that Wednesday dial is very similar colour to ours. That's exactly the colour you want with it. Do you think? Magenta. I mean, this is the colour that goes perfectly with it. And this was knit by one of our sample knitters. Yeah. I have not this colour. My shawl, but it is short. goes really well with your coat. It might go with the coat, but it doesn't go with my face. I mean, it just I should never wear this colour. I think it's the acid green in it. Can you please help me? I'm putting a plea out. I would like some colour suggestions. I would like it possibly in just one colour. I think it needs to be a solid I'm colour. Doing it in, I'm doing it in cable, so I would like the, the cable to talk rather than the wall. Yeah. Not mustard, as you can tell. It just looks disgusting. It really doesn't. You I don't like don't it. don't like myself in mustard lime green. So, well, that is your challenge. Please, leave a comment. Leave a colour. Leave a colour. I like bright colours. Yeah. But you think pink. Well, it's your colour and I think it goes with it. If you get your Wensleydale and wrap that round your neck. <laughs> wrap, 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 wrap. Wrap me Wensleydale round my neck. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I like pink. Just, I don't know. No, I don't know people. That's the trouble you don't know. I know what I don't want. Yeah. But I'm not sure what colour I do want. So anyway, if you could help me with that decision, that would be greatly appreciated. Then I'll stop whinging about it. Because I was thinking like a like a pale fawn colour. But then that'll just look a bit boring, won't it? And I'm not I like bright colours. And green. you put the cream next to you and the cream's not right. No. The cream's not that silver. I know you weren't going for silver, but the silver doesn't. So it does need to be a 
colour. Deep colour. Back, back in the room. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, back, back, back in the room. room. So I, that's what I want to do. I want to make a cable pattern that will be available sometime next year. Um, and does it have to go with your brown coat? Yeah, I'm not going to put it on the brown coat. If you're not going to have it done for this year? No, I'll have it done for this year, but what I mean is it may not release it till right. later on. So I would like something to go with my dark brown coat. But this is like, we're both the same. We're, oh, that's like, you I, know, yeah. with everything else that we're doing, it'll just be I, I want on a long it. list of things that we're nope, doing. Nope, 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 nope. I want, I want to show a scarf to wear my coat. Although I, I did think. You did think. Oh, God. She's, She's thinking. thinking. She's, She's thinking. thinking. I'm, see, all right, I'm thinking. Why don't you test knit this cowl? In a solid colour, because you would wear this. This would look nice. Oh, she's just said maybe she won't need to. She's upstairs now. God knows what she's going to be doing. Um, I think that's all. Everything we've got on our needles. I've just looked at. I can't believe I got like a little book with my um, project bags. You never ever expect extras, but I'll tell you what, they do make a really, I'll just see what she's got on. They do make, or certainly make me smile when you get something extra. Um, one thing we've not said, all of the Yarnia shawls have gone out. So yes, if you've bought have. a Yarnia shawl, they've all been posted. I know people have started receiving them. You see? I mean, it's got mustard in, hasn't it? Yes. But And lime green. <laughs> but, but other than that, <laughs> the twilight's actually quite nice with it. Yeah, I mean, I look like I'm going to a football match. Pretend that nobody knows. This is my dad's um, scarf. But I just thought it's not the right colour, is it? No, it's not the right colour. <sighs> oh, it's you. But uh, the cowl does look nice. Yeah, but but it doesn't, that colour's not right. Um, yeah, so we know some of you have already got your Yarnia shawls because we've seen pictures of them, so they're all out. I think we said last time, all the advent calendars are out, all the Yarnia, so all the Christmas shawl packs are out. As of today, we have one. But that's Monday, so by the time this goes out... So it, it might have gone. We yes. have one um, Yarnia shawl set left. We have two, but someone snapped one up today or last night yes. so um, there is one as it stands at the minute so but it'll be on the website so if it's not on the website it's gone i'm afraid um will it be on the website then i'm going to put it back on i haven't put it on i think yeah i'll, I'll put it back because on i now. think everyone's had a chance now yes they have. it can go on the website um and then we won't put a facebook post out till this goes out and then you can fight for yeah one just because like with the advent calendars we had to do them in multiples of twos, really. Yeah. Um, and then we found that we'd actually dyed more of the sparkle than we thought. Well, yeah, we did. And one person, yeah, no, we'd yeah. have to do a different different colourway for somebody we knew. But um, anyway, that's, yeah. that's the end of that. Yeah. Is there anything else? I can't think. No, well, I was just looking. I don't think there is. No, I can't think of anything else. It's been a short week since the last episode because. Somebody's going away. Holiday, but it's somebody's happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Dominic's birthday. Um, it won't have been, by the time you watch this, it won't have been. What day is your birthday? Saturday. Saturday. So yeah. It's on Saturday, it is Dominic's birthday. Yes. But she's going away, so she's taking I just take. I always do take myself away this week to the same place that's got a fire, so I've just feed wood in it. The fire will be lit before the cart is unloaded today. Perfect. Because that's what always happens. Perfect. Pyjamas on. No, unload the cart, then pyjamas on, obviously. Yes. And obviously. then, mulled wine, whiskey, pyjamas, knitting. knitting, jigsaws, books. Sounds I mean, perfect. what more does a girl need? What more does a girl so need? So I will 
there'll be one of two things. Either you won't hear anything from me on social media or I shall bombard you with um, everything that I'm doing, which won't be a lot. So I think. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a lovely um, few days. Have a wonderful time away. Keep knitting. Keep knitting. Keep sharing your posts. Everybody in. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe and like. Subscribe. Nice to see you all again. Bye. Bye.